Hey everybody, it's Trina Shaya, and welcome back to Undertale. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, um... I actually already recorded this episode once because... Well, um... Well, I didn't record it. <laughs> um... I... I just... I must have hit the button more than once to record. So I'm, I'm gonna try and go through this text as best I can. Because I've already seen it once. If you really want to read it, just pause and read. I just want to get to the biggest part of the episode, like, pretty quick. Um, and, uh, yeah. But if we, if everything goes according to plan, this will be the only episode that's like this. Um, I, basically what I had to do was, I just restarted, I didn't restart the game, I just, uh, I just went back to the last save, which was at the doghouse. Anyway, we're down in town now. Um, I forget if I bought the cin, uh, yeah, I bought the cinnamons on... Uh, camera, but this fight here I have already done once. I gotta move my mouse. I realized that was there. Um, but yeah. Human. Allow me to tell you something. Alright, let me tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings. They must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what, what, what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what, what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You're a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious! That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Uh, let's check him. Papyrus attack 20, defense 20, he looks the same. Yeah! Yeah! See? The bios are never wrong. Um. Papyrus. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll insult him. How selfless. You want to make me feel better about fighting you. I don't deserve such hospitality hospitality from you. I like Papyrus' theme. Oh, let's flirt. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no! That humility it reminds me of myself! You're beating all my standards! Let's date later after I capture you! You notice that his attacks are all kind of not, not <laughs> mattering. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Um, mercy. So you won't fight. Then, let's see if we can handle my fatal blue attack. Stay completely still and you'll be fine. Or so you thought. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. I have experience of being blue. Blue, blue. I'm a happy, happy cultist. If you don't know what that is, play Earthbound. So now, what being blue means is I learned this the hard way. Um, it means it's so you're affected by you're you're affected by gravity. That's what I'm trying to say. Whoops, I just skipped the text. So now, like these attacks actually matter because we have to actually jump over them. You just gotta remember that I've done this 
fires da Dab Smear and Aerosol to find his ear. Yeah, don't mean to use my special attack. Fire Stab's MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. I can almost taste my future popularity! Oops. Screwed that up. Oh. Oh. Fire Stab's MTT brand Anime Powder behind his ear. Fire's head of the Royal Guard! I thought I unplugged my mic, that's why I stopped. Fire's Imperialized Spaghetti Tour! Ah. No! I didn't suck this badly when I was playing before. Undyne would be really proud of me! If you remember, he mentioned Undyne in the war. Well, he went to it, but... Undyne has been mentioned several times, actually. I don't want to fight the virus. The king will turn my head in the shape of my smile. Oh god. The virus realizes it doesn't have ears. My brother, well, he won't change very much. The virus is rattling his bones. I'll have lots of admirers, but... I just remembered a bad joke Sans told him and it's frowning. Will anyone like me since Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Fires prepares a non-bone attack and spends a minute fixing his mistake. Someone like you is really rare. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. And dating might be kinda hard. First is pretending a bone is preparing a bone attack. He's pretending! After you're captured and sent away. Oh no! <laughs> This is, a, this is by far the hardest, hardest boss fight then. Uh, who cares? Give up! Oh god. No. I was just trying hard to play it cool. Uh, I'm gonna eat the Cinnabon. I still haven't equipped the man band. Man. The, the, the bandana. It's a man bandana. That's what it is. Wow, that was terrible. Paris is considering his options. Spare. Yeah, very soon I'll use my special attack. Ice cream. Yeah, you'll notice that I have items and stuff that I didn't before. That's because I made it through the the greater dog boss fight a lot easier. This is your last chance for my special attack. <laughs> Behold, my special attack! Uh, what? What the heck? That, that's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! <laughs> His eyes are great. If I touch him, will I get hurt? Whee! Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. Oh, this is a really cool regular attack. <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. Oh my god. Oh! That hit me a lot more when I did it the first time. No! Oh god. This I still have no idea how I'm gonna... I'm supposed to avoid this part. I mean, they're here. Jump! Alright. There'll be one right here. Uh, 
Ugh. It's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. See, here's the thing. If you really wanted to, and you were, like, if you were killing everybody, you could kill Papyrus here. Or you could try, anyway. I'm going to spare him, though. I like Papyrus. I'll probably do a video, or even another playthrough, where I, um, I do the opposite things that I did before. One of which will be killing everybody. Uh, let's be friends. Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't had our first date. And I've already managed to get hit the friend zone. Who, who knew all I needed to be... All I needed to make pals was to give people pu awful puzzles and and then fight them. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby, I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when we reach the capital, cross the barrier. That, that's the magical seal that's trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then, then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... well... He's a big fuzzy pushover! Everyone loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer. Can I please go home? He'll guide you right to, right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Yeah! <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Uh, there's one more thing that I did in the episode. Or in the... Well, when I didn't record. And that is a cutscene that happens right up here. So I'm just going to recover here. We aren't going to need anything to fight, but, um... I'm good, right? Yeah. We're not going to be fighting anything, but I just want to do this. What? Have you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. And I'm going to Grillby's. Want to come? Yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hi, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least, at least a half hour. You must think you have brunch. But Here, get company. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes we just put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. I'm a burger guy. Grubby, we'll have a double order of burg. So, what do you think? Am I right? He's cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool if you, you'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Uh, no. I don't like ketchup on my burgers. More for me. Blood, blood, blood. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus Pyrus tries real hard. The cow keeps trying to be a part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to, to let him be in it. Of course, she shot the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she, saw, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing with dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Well, that was a long break. Can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. 
No, oh, by the way. I'm from a bird. Can you feel the bell? It's just... No. Just kidding. Really? Put it on my tab. By the way. I was going to say something, but I forgot. Okay, so... Now I'm just going to run back to where we were. And I'll meet you there. Okay, we're back, and um, they, this is the Echo Flower that they were talking about. All that gives my life validation is explaining the Echo Flower. No one can know. Okay, this. Never just a flower. That's one of the constants of this world. Oh. Yes, okay. We're apparently going. This kid's apparently sneaking out to see someone. This is a box. You can put an item in it or take it out. Why would you though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely. A box hater. Didn't we run into a box lover before? Oh god. <laughs> we. Uh, that's a shadow. Papyrus. <laughs> Hi, I'm dying. I'm here with my daily report uh, regarding the human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. Try very hard and dying, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But I'm dying, you don't have to destroy them. You'll see. You see. You see. I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh crap. I probably should have saved. Um You know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go back. What up? Yo, do you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome! I'm so jealous! What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Ow! Hey, I'm gonna go back and save. Oh god. No! It's just I don't... <laughs> um, actually, I'm gonna end it here just because I don't want to save in the middle of a recording. And we're we're pretty much almost to time anyway. Um, so I'll see you guys all in the next episode of Undertale. <laughs>